Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Kuba's Cocktails. Today we're going to do another ninja sex party themed cocktail, this time for a specific song. We are talking about one of my absolute favorites, Dragon Slayer. <laughs> So in this song, Danny is trying to woo a girl at a party. The girl is surrounded by other suitors. You got football players, jocks, scientists, and Danny just sort of shows up and goes, oh, you know, that, that's cool. You guys have all these accolades, but have you ever slain a mother effing dragon? I don't think so. It is the ultimate move for Danny to try and get this girl. His coup de gras, as it were. Of course, then it turns out the dragon was actually just some homeless guy that he found behind a bus station. And it doesn't really come off as nearly as impressive as it sounded in the first place. But it is a wonderful song nonetheless. So let's get going on a cocktail that I call the Dragon Slayer. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna get some lime juice in there. Uh, we're not gonna get too much. You don't want too much because it's gonna kind of mess with the color later on. Lime juice, unfortunately, gets kind of a greenish yellow to it. So we're only gonna do, you know, like, yeah, about a half ounce. Okay, next up, we're gonna turn back to our little uh, liquor treasure chest over here. We're gonna grab some Midori. Uh, we're gonna go for about one ounce of this Midori. It is a Japanese melon liqueur, for anyone who doesn't know. It doesn't taste like any melons around here. It's a specific kind of melon. I don't remember entirely specifically what kind of melon it is, but it's green and we need green. Okay, now after that, we're gonna come up on that with some dragonberry rum. This is Bacardi. This is a mix of dragon fruit and strawberry infused rum. There used to be just a straight dragon fruit rum, but I think they discontinued that one in favor of this. So I'm gonna do about an ounce and a half of that. As per the sacred scrolls, we're gonna go one big cube. We're gonna go one cracked cube. I always feel like I make such a mess whenever I crack the ice, but eh, is what it is. We need ice. We're gonna shake them a little gently because I don't want to lose the green. You see, like we're already losing it just a little bit with distilling the ice. So just a few kind of stronger shakes like that to mix together and you wanna stop it right there. Cause otherwise the lime's gonna overpower it with the, with the color and we just don't, we don't wanna lose the awesome green color that we've got going on. So I have this glass right here. It is, I don't really know what to call it. It's like a tall scotch glass or maybe it's a cut Collins glass. Whatever it is, it's perfect for this drink. Oh, and I filled this with crushed ice. It's gotta be crushed in this case. Okay, it's gonna work its way through a little slowly. Okay, perfect. We're gonna top that off with just a little bit of lemon lime soda. Not too much, just, just a tiny bit. Now, we garnish this thing. And you're probably thinking, oh, it's gonna be a dragon fruit. That's the obvious one. Wrong, we are not going dragon fruit on this one. No, 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 no. What I got instead is, voila. This is a horned melon. It's crazy, it looks so bizarre, but I think it looks perfect on this drink. So we're just gonna cut a slice right out of him. Oh, we got a thick one. We got a thick boy. Right, there you go, look at that. I think that looks pretty cool. We're just gonna perch him right over here. With that, we have the dragon portion down. Now we gotta slay the dragon. So I got this little uh, measuring cup shot glass here. And what I have here is a jar of strawberry syrup. The way I made this one is I just strained a bunch of uh, jarred strawberries and I kept the syrup. This was about maybe three jars worth. Uh, this specifically was the Trader Joe's brand Italian strawberries, which got discontinued after about three weeks, which is a damn shame because they were so good. But honestly, any jarred strawberry will do. So we're just gonna pour a little bit right in here, uh, maybe about, about a tablespoon's worth. And if you'll bear with me, we are going to slay the dragon. Because of all of the ice, the syrup is gonna trickle down a little bit, making a really, really cool design as it goes. A lot of it is gonna rest on the bottom, but the hope is always that a good amount of it is gonna kinda get trapped either on the ice or near the top, and I am actually really thrilled with how this is looking right now. That is. That is looking great. That is exactly how I always 
pictured this drink work. And there it is. That is the Dragon Slayer. All right, I'm just gonna grab a straw over here. Bamboo straws, guys, come on, save the world. Gonna stick that right in there. Let's uh, let's see how it is. Oh my god, I love that so much. You get very, very clear notes of the dragon fruits, of the melon, and the deeper you go, the more you kind of get that strawberry as well. The strawberry is going to stay at the bottom until you finish the drink, and it is just such a delightful finish to this drink. Oh my god, it is so good. This is just a reminder, guys. Next time you're trying to hit on a girl at a bar or at a party, you could tell her that you slayed a dragon, or you could tell her that now you know how to make a dragon slayer drink. One of them is bound to get you somewhere. And if not, you go home alone and you make yourself one of these anyway. Win-win, right? Right? Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Kuba's Cocktails. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you tried this drink at home. Shoot me a like or a subscription if you really, really liked it. And let me know what drinks you want me to do next. If you're a Ninja Sex Party fan, let me know what song or what character I should try to make a drink base around next. And if you're not a Ninja Sex Party fan, uh, what the hell is wrong with you? But also let me know what other drinks you want me to try and create on the show of ours. Alright guys, until next time... Cheers! Zdrówka! Oh my god, that's so good!